Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and that was a solo by the great William Schinstein called Father and Son. So this is the beginning of a series of videos playing the compositions of Mr. Schinstein. Now the book I'm using is called Adventures in Solo Drumming. It's published by the Southern Music Company. It may have a different cover because my book is very old. His solos are really unique. There's combinations of classical snare drumming and rudimental snare drumming involved. So sometimes the roles are closed. Certain solos are entirely classical in nature. Others are all jazz in nature. And others, like this last one that I played, are rudimental in nature. So I'll be playing through many of his solos from this book and maybe some of his other books over the next six or seven months. So uh, this solo, Father and Son, is dedicated to William F. Ludwig, junior and senior. That's why it's called Father and Son. So we're going to go over a few passages. The beginning starts pretty simple, like any uh, standard rudimental solo. So you want to alternate, you want to play your flams open, uh, play your rolls open. There's seven stroke rolls here, so you can squeeze them in or you can start them early like this. Or squeeze them. That's up to you. Later on in the solo, we get into this passage here where we're doing combination double stroke rolls in different rhythms. I'll pull on the metronome. So that's pretty cool. All of a sudden we go into that and very unique. Like I said, he did a lot of unique stuff in his solos. That just needs to be even because we're changing rhythmic groupings. Now I'm playing this solo at quarter note equals 120. The written tempo is 108. I find that some of these flow better faster, but I'm going to play it at the written tempo for you in a minute. There's a couple other spots I do want to go over. This figure, three lines from the end, sounds like this. So it's important to swing, semi-swing th this figure. Don't play it too tight. You don't want to play it like this. You want to play it like this. It needs to have that groove to it. So you can fill in those spaces, those rests, with the drags. That's the idea behind this. So now I'll play this for you at quarter note equals 108. One, two, one, two. 